Hello and welcome to a Dragon PME tutorial. Now, something that's uh, been uh, brought to my attention is external hard drives on uh, a Mac. Now, um, a friend of mine who's been actually watching my tutorials and stuff has uh, just bought a Mac and he's like, hey, I've plugged in an external hard drive and I can read it, I can get the data off it, great, but I can't actually put anything on it. Now, if you want to back up your information like this guy was doing, um, it's not going to work. Um, why? Because one thing I've noticed, uh, I don't know if there's a way around it, but um, I've had to format all of my external hard drives before being able to um, use it um, on my Mac. Now, don't worry, I mean, if you format it in, on your Mac, then you'll be able to use it on your Windows and your Mac and your, your Linux machine. It's just for some reason, if it's formatted by a Windows machine, you have to get it formatted by a Mac to be able to use it on a Mac, do you know what I mean? I, don't, I think it's to install some kind of um, permissions or, or something like that and also something to do with deep, oh, anyway. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to erase a hard drive. I'm not actually going to do it to my external too here because as you can see, I've got lots of stuff that I need to keep. Need, and I'm not going to be erasing anything. So basically what do I do? Spotlight, type in disk, disk utility, and you get your disk utility bobbing up and down in the dock here. And you'll be able to um, handle your, your hard drives, be it a flash drive, a memory stick thing, or a FireWire drive anyway. Now, make sure you didn't click this one because it's your main hard drive, your operating system. That's always the, the top. Click on your second hard drive. The, so you, if you have like per partitions, you have three or four or however many partitions you have under the main one, you want to make sure you, you click the top most root directory and go to erase. Obviously, you can make a partition if you want. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff here actually uh, if you want to. Um, yeah, but anyway. Um, you'll have to format it first before using it to be able to write but anyway um sorry i'm i'm just jibbing away but anyway if you have if you've got a new mac i do recommend that if you do have an external hard drive like this that you want to write to to get all the data off it onto your mac first um before you raising it you always back up your information that you need to keep because that would be horrific if you lost the document that's meant to get you a first in university but what what will get deleted it because you were careless anyway so um in the volume format you want to use it on a windows machine maybe you don't maybe you just want to use it on a mac but to be honest as soon as 90 percent of computers are windows uh i do recommend you use ms dos file system not mac os x extended or journaled or unix file system mm, ms dos like so give it a name blah 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 click erase and it'll say, are you, sure you want to, are you sure you want to erase? And you go, yeah, I'm sure I want to erase. And then off it goes, blah, 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 blah. It's the same with partitioning. Um, and it'll take about five minutes or so, depending on how big the hard drive is. And voila, it's done. It can read and write to it um, as much as you please. Now, to be honest, I think that's a bit of a, um, a pain in the neck. One of the downfalls on Mac OS X is the fact that you cannot just plug a hard drive in and be able to write to it straight away I mean with pen drives and stuff you can straight away but like external hard drives which this is an actual hard drive rather than a flash disk um, uh, it's like 30 gigabytes or whatever um, that type of thing can I think it should be able to be um, just plugged in and write to it straight away I don't know what it does I think it's something to do with permissions and stuff but anyway um, I hope you learned something. If you wanted to format a hard drive, this tutorial has also told you how to format it, just in general. Yeah, I want to delete everything. Delete! Or if you feel a bit risky, you could use the Mac OS X file systems. See if it runs any better or slow or whatever. Um, it might be worth a try. I mean, if you have a hard drive hang uh, lying about and you want to make it external, um, why not? I don't know. But anyway, I hope you learned something. I'm sorry I couldn't actually show you um, a hard drive being erased. I just want to keep all my information. I don't have a spare one to show you. Um, so I apologize for that. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. I'm just thinking there's nothing else to tell you. Uh, please, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And I'll see you whenever. Have fun with your Mac. And if you are a Windows user looking at Mac, um, I'd just like to point out I have customized my Mac. This isn't how a Mac always looks. If you look at my earlier tutorials, that's a kind of standard theme. Um, but yes, you can customize a Mac. That's something that lots of PC users say, oh, you can't customize Mac. Yes, you can. Look at my desktop. It's all customized to the Macs. And you can even put the dock on the top if you find the right program. Um, I think I've discussed that earlier 
Onyx is what I use. Anyway, so have fun if you're a PC user looking at Mac. Um, look at it. It's Canny Swish. Look at some other tutorials. The Canny Swish. Um, they're really, really good. Uh, have fun. Um, have a good life, etc.